Tom, who has? Oh, no, not that gentleman. No. <laughs> I had a feeling you might say that when you said if you saw <laughs> me did. stand up. Uh, Jay Demlo, I'm a retired, another one of these retired economic officers. Um, the, the the notion of a quantitative goal for exports, uh, as the president's new you know, national export initiative uh, puts out, you know, is this isn't his isn't the first one. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember, but the first Department of State strategic or you know, strategic plan had a, a goal of a specific dollar amount of exports by a certain date. And lo and behold, we made it. Um, but I guess the question, that as you as you think about the president's new one. You know, whose head's on the line if it doesn't come to pass? And more importantly, as, you know, as, as people sort of analyze why it does or doesn't come to pass, you know, whose head's on the line to fix the problems that are identified as the impediments for it coming to pass? Uh, and I think that you know, that's one of the things that, that strikes me as, as one of the weaknesses here. I mean, when you look at some of the things that the department is doing, we're pushing really hard to find out you know, how many trade delegations are we leading back to the US? How many businessmen are you meeting with? Those aren't necessarily the kinds of impediments that are standing in the way of success for this initiative. I'm curious whether or not should, some, should somebody's head or should, should there be more emphasis on trying to eliminate those impediments uh, as, you, as you look at, and, and the large impediments. I mean, Al, you mentioned a couple of them. Uh, those are political impediments, uh, in some of them. And how are, how is anyone going to address that? Well, I, yeah. How's your head? I, mean, I think <laughs> what I interpreted, uh, what I interpret the initiative to be, is setting a stretch goal that is illustrative of, in a very, I think, understandable way, this broader rebalancing, this broader changing of mix of incentives that Al's been probably talking about. We live in a very matrixed world and government, so I've been struck coming back at how much these programs have to be kind of quantifiably put together in terms of who came to the buyer shows and the rest of it. So it's a, it's a, it's a lot in terms of government program. But I, I tried to, I guess, suggest by looking at the components of this according to the National Association of Manufacturers that, you had, can trust those guys. that had actually indicated that, you know, it, growth rates and global, this would produce X, and then there's a role for agreements, there's a role for government programs and finance. And so I think it was a, a useful way to illustrate the nature of the problem, and I think, you know, I'll leave it to Al to restate it if he wants, but the broader nature to get into this really comprehensive looking at uh, macroeconomic policy and competitive issues that affect the, 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 is where it is. I, in terms of the head on the line, I, I think, in effect, the President's done a service to call attention to the fact we need to be doing more exporting and investing, less consumption, other ways to do it, and set a goal that is focused different agencies on what they can do in that context. That's I don't know if that's answering your question, but that's how I see uh, a very important role for maybe 60 billion bucks of the 1.8 trillion from government programs. One of the smartest but more difficult to get along with uh, NSC colleagues with whom I dealt used to say, um, if you don't have an action plan or a program to achieve a goal, it's not a goal but a notion. And um, I, you know, being outside government and having the luxury of, um, you know, being a little, not critical, but, but just sort of, I wonder why they didn't do that. I, I, I saluted the president for announcing this goal. I think right. it's, it is important for all the reasons that Chuck uh, laid out. At the time that he announced it, I was looking for the plan or the action plan underneath it, and I didn't see it. And I think the absence of a sort of an action plan makes it vulnerable to the concern, Jay, that you raise. It makes it vulnerable to the charge, well, this isn't this is a notion. I, I think the president's determined to put the scaffolding underneath it, but, but I, I think that's the, the crucial thing. Because absent a, a, a stretch goal, absent Action, yeah. uh, action items that are going to be checked off. As you say, no one's, no one's heads on the line, and we all know, um, we all know in government that uh, there are a lot of things where you say we are, we are working on it, and that's not necessarily a reassuring phrase that we are working on it <laughs> we'll together, <laughs> uh, because because there's not a sense of accountability, and you need that sense of accountability. Yeah.